Hey guys, I'm going to give you a quick little video to show you some modifications that I've done, some things I've done to my sawmill. I've got a Woodland Mills HM130 Max, <clears throat> and I did some modifications to it to make my milling go faster and more smoothly, and I just thought I'd share with you guys. Uh, so we'll start back here. First thing I did is I put this jack on. It's an electric jack. Um, just took, welded the bracket here and the bracket here and here for the cables <clears throat> and then welded a bracket up here for bolting it on basically i just duplicated what was on there for the brackets uh, on the old one and i left the old one intact so if this ever did fail i mean you can i've got a little jack or a little lever on this one where i can do it manually but if the screw ever failed or whatever i can always throw the old one back on quick if i need to um yeah, I think I modified, I think I actually moved these a little bit more uh, to make the cable longer because the I was already maxed out. As you can see, I'm close to maxed out there too with the threads. I would probably move it just a little bit more this way just so I got more adjustment. So that's one of the mods. Um, the rulers, I, one thing I like to do is I just double them up like this. So on the fly, I can just use them however I want. I don't do a lot of eight quarter, but if I did, I'd just pull this off. But mostly what I do is either four quarter, some of it's true dimension, and then some of it I do this one just for like my own stuff. If I'm doing um, like a rough saw and lumber look on the interior of a wall, then I'm using either one of these or yeah. Uh, another thing I did is I added these guys here. So this is just a, it's a log turner. It's super handy when I've got big logs that are heavy, hard to turn. That's just hooked up to a winch. I, <clears throat> I'm not crazy about this brand winch. It's a cheap Chinese knockoff that was on Amazon. <clears throat> I had another one for this guy here and it broke like right away. So I replaced it with a champion so far. I've been happy with it. This winch is a 4,500 pound winch. Um, this is just two by two quarter inch tubing. And this will pull up like so. When you hit a log, it'll just go to whatever size log it has, it'll adapt, help spin. This guy, I need to tighten him up a little bit so it's stiffer. Um, I'll pull this up, run it in and out. I can actually show you. So I didn't want to have a cable running all the way across the top up here to one, you know, from side to side. So I had power coming down, you know, I've seen people where they did like a daisy chain cable on a, And then they had the power cable running down to power all this stuff. So what I did is I did um, this here set up. So I got my power coming from the battery coming down to a breaker and then into this plug-in, and I just simply bolted a thick chunk of steel I had laying around to the frame here of the saw part. And then on the rails, I bolted another one. So let me unpin this. When you slide the saw all the way back, it makes a connection, and now I've got power at my winches that are on the frame so oh the other thing so like this uh, this one right here i need to replace this guy the remote doesn't work some of the times and also sometimes it won't go in and out which is really inconvenient even with the switch i ended up having to wire up the switch and just leave it lay here so i can run that because again it's just a cheap knockoff but this champion has been rock solid. So I got this little remote. I usually clip it on my belt loop or my belt. So I've got a return cable right there. And that comes back here to the springs. They just have mounted uh, with an eye bolt right back here on the, the rail. The winch runs across 
from here all the way up underneath there with a couple of pulleys along the way and then straight over. Uh, this is made out of two by two by two steel quarter inch. And I just did some brackets and used washers to shim it up where I needed it to be. I welded this guy on here so that when I'm doing like, you know, this is all, when I got square cant, I would just lift this up a little bit and run this in. And now this catches that square cant so I don't have to pull this up. And then I also know that this is never going to hit the blade because I have it at the right height. So it, it just clears the blade if the saw is all the way down. <clears throat> Um, so then back here, I added a, when I put the toolbox on, I ended up with another, with an extra bunk. So I added, I drilled some holes and added this bunk here just because when you're pulling across like this, this'll, this'll twist. And I just didn't want to wreck the frame. So I put this here. I got another one that I made that I'm going to put right here on this side too just closer to the winch just to help give it more support so it doesn't ruin it uh, eventually i plan on doing uh, a power feed as well and that'll be all the motor and everything will be driven from here and when i get that done i'll throw a video up and then back here this is my power junction i just mounted everything right here on the rails So yeah, I think that pretty much sums up everything. The other thing I wanna do is I'm gonna put another bunk, thought about just ordering another bunk like this to put right here. So then I can do, when I do like smaller logs, um, like if I wanna do like charcuterie boards out of smaller logs, I can do a two foot log up here if I wanted to. And that should clear this no problem. So I'll probably order that up, mount it right here, straight across. <clears throat> so I could still use the clamp and all that. But this right here, big time game changer. Like this is huge for clamping down the logs. It's been great. So yeah, if you got any other questions or you want it, you know, want me to try doing something else, let me know and I'll put a video up. Uh, I did try doing the laser. That's what this is. I tried two different lasers, but unless you're in an enclosed area or you only plan on using it at dusk or dawn or in the dark, the lasers suck. It's not worth it unless, like I said, unless you have an enclosed area where it's shaded. I bought some really expensive, nice ones. They still didn't work. I put a DRO on here, digital outread, digital read, whatever. Um, again, those things, they suck. They, I mean, they're, they're nice, they're accurate whatever but there's there's too much of a delay you know when i'm doing it I'm, i want to quick dial it in and there's like a a one second delay on those before they get perfect and so for 150 bucks is what i paid for it to me it wasn't worth it i just use the scale and get it dialed in that way and there's a perfectly good ruler right there And this thing moves pretty quick, a little faster going down, which is what you're doing most of the time anyways. So yeah, if you like the video, give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel. And uh, like I said, any questions, throw them down in the comments down below. I'd love to uh, help you with anything. Thank you.